Welcome back to my channel, The Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish. This is a Nina Takish Design Home. This is my flip project. You guys have seen this, and I cannot wait to reveal once and for all, finally, what I've been working on for over a year, the gorgeous kitchen in this house. Follow me. Here we are, welcome to my custom designed, no kitchen kitchen, ready to feast not only your eyes, but your stomachs. That's right, you guessed it. This is definitely a no kitchen kitchen designed by me, Nina Takish, and everything that's in this kitchen has been thoughtfully curated and done so that it gives the perfect vibe in this house. It's such a happy house. There's so much light that comes in and my favorite of all things in this house is this kitchen. I love this arch that we created here as the backdrop. It's just beautiful, it has LED lighting. This marble is probably one of the most expensive marbles on the market. We did not spare any expenses in this home. This is in a very high-end area in Los Angeles, and this is a custom-built home with all custom cabinetry and millwork. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, I will now beg you, ask you kindly to subscribe below because we are revealing some of the best design concepts, I think, out there, and you definitely don't want to miss it. The marble is none other than Calicutta Paola Vagli Gold, and what we did is a double bullnose on the edges of this countertop. That is actually very beautiful. It's got very soft edges. And guess what we did here, as you guys might have guessed it, we did the Nina cabinetry. These are Nina designed custom millwork and we have the blade that I've designed to create this paneling. And we have a no touch situation here, meaning touch latch and carved out handles. These are beautifully carved out by hand so that you can open your cabinets, you can open your drawers, and of course, we've got the soft close. Notice how we've got a square paneled, rectangular paneling around this drawer, and then we've got our cuts here. This is to give it the illusion that this, in fact, is one piece and therefore extremely designer. On each side of the arch, we have these beautiful library sconces from Circa Lighting. So thank you Circa for outfitting this entire house with their gorgeous lighting. I just love the way that they have the beautiful arm. You can actually move them and position them any way you like, and they give a little bit of warmth and the no kitchen kitchen feel to this kitchen. We put in the integrated sink in the same marble because we wanted it to be seamless. And we've got the Brizzo faucets here with our filtration system, our air gap, soap dispenser, and garbage disposal. The sink itself is fully integrated and an ode to the rest of the marble. And of course, this is all honed for a very beautiful finish. The dishwasher is hidden behind this panel. We did panel ready for everything that we possibly could. We've got the dishwasher right here, easy to access. And of course, we put a panel on our refrigerator. Everything in this kitchen is Gen Air. You guys know that I've partnered with Gen Air. I love their appliances. And this home is lucky to have these appliances. We have the cooktop here, which is beautiful, seamless. What I love about the Gen Air appliances is the brand brass two-tone fixtures that are within the cooktop. So it just gives it that extremely elevated high-end look. It's gorgeous. I don't even want to cook on it. It's so pretty. We've got our Gen Air double ovens. These are by far the best because you just turn them on. This is a completely smart oven. Not only is this a smart house, 
we've got smart ovens. All we have to do is we pick the oven that we want to use, whether it's the upper, the lower, we can pick our different temperatures, and we've got recipes that are built in here. We can also put our thermostat in our chicken and it can alert our phone when our chicken is ready or whatever it is that we're cooking. This is a phenomenal oven. It is gorgeous. Please check out the inside. Gen Air really knows how to design appliances and I'm so happy to be their partner. This kitchen would not be complete without the Nina Takish Design stools. These are my stools. A lot of you know about these. I love them. They are beautifully made of white oak. They have a great brass footrest and they look wonderful in this kitchen. And of course, we will link this and other items that you're seeing on today's episode in the description box below. These are pinky steel doors. I love them. They are throughout the house and they really elevate the look of this house. Here we've got, of course, the Nina Takish cabinets are um, continuing with the beautiful molding. And notice how the molding, again, is one panel that goes around and then you've got the division of the cabinets and it's just cut just so, so that it gives you the illusion that this is one big panel and not a bunch of cabinets. This is why I love this design. It's a lot more minimal and a lot less busy. What we definitely wanted in this kitchen, what I designed are these full floor to ceiling cabinets so that again, you could put your, um, we have two of these cabinets side by side. This could be your appliance garage. You can lift this uh, shelf off and you could have your toasters, your, any, your blenders, anything that needs to be plugged in can go in these doors. And when you're done and you're ready, you just close them up and you can keep your kitchen clean, organized and beautiful at all times. What we did is that we have painted cabinets throughout this kitchen and then we decided to make the island not only a large island, but also to have the cabinetry in the island be wood. So we've got oak cabinets in the middle, that's the island, and then we have painted. This is to give it a little bit of differentiation to mimic the herringbone floors. Again, we have herringbone floors in this room, which I absolutely love. It's what it's like in Paris. We've got herringbone floors in every apartment. So it's an ode to that. And the fact that it's very clean, minimal, and the beauty of this kitchen is that it's open. It's open to the family room. It's open directly into the dining room. So if somebody is here visiting, or if you've got friends or children around, you're able to cook and really participate also in the home. We also have a microwave drawer that's in the island. Again, with a touch of a button, it opens up so that you don't really see many appliances. And our refrigerator, our refrigerator is paneled. It's Gen Air, it's beautiful. When you open it and you look at it, you notice that everything is made of glass. This is the only refrigeration system that of all of the ones that you are familiar with that has its components made of glass versus plastic. And of course the interior is completely customized and black, allowing you to finally be able to see the food inside your refrigerator. Our bottom drawer is a plentiful sized freezer for all of your frozen needs and of course is basically hidden behind our panels and our cabinetry. Our trash receptacles, everything is hidden behind this paneling. You know where everything is and everything looks gorgeous. We styled it with beautiful cookbooks, some salt and pepper shakers, fresh flowers. We always love to have fresh flowers in the house. It just brings um, an air of liveliness and earthiness into the home. We've picked very natural colored florals to mimic the earth tones in the marble. Lastly, the LED light strip is within our arch. So at night, this room really shines beautifully and is really a great place for gathering. All the people that have come to see this house immediately flock to the kitchen. They sit on the bar stools and look around in awe. Right above the cooktop, we have our beautiful hood. Now, when we were doing construction, we did not check to see if there was a giant beam right in the middle of this room, which there was. And so instead of putting this flush into the ceiling, which you can, if you were building new construction, but this is a remodel and complete remodel, I should say. We really did not want to add structural steel and so forth. And therefore what we did was we built a little um, soffit and put the Faber hood inside of the soffit, which looks adorable. It mimics the size of the cooktop and looks great. 
I personally would have preferred it to be flush into the ceiling, but in the absence of being able to do that, this also works beautifully. Thank you for joining me on the final tour of this beautiful flip project that I put so much love and effort into. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I would like to say if you haven't seen part one and part two of this home, you definitely want to click the link in this video so that you can see the rest of this home. You will definitely not be disappointed. I can't wait to see you guys next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.